Today, we've got for you a 10-minute TRX upper body workout. If this is your first time with us, I'm Corey Boggs, personal trainer here at Benefitness. And I'm Brad Boggs. I'm the owner of Benefitness. Here at Benefitness, we are all about helping you on your fitness journey, whatever that is. So we have 10-minute workouts. We have 30-minute workouts. We also have nutritional tip videos and exercise tip videos. So definitely check those out after this. Grab some, grab some open space. Grab your TRX, towel, water and let's do it. Before we begin, I wanna make sure that your TRX is at the proper height for our workout today. It doesn't actually matter where it's secured on your wall or a doorway. We wanna make sure that the handles are, are about the base of your knee. So for our workout today, we're gonna to have six upper body exercises, 40 seconds of work with a 10 second rest. We're gonna do each exercise twice. Okay, so to begin with, we're gonna start with a TRX row. We're going to face the secure point. Palms are gonna face one another. You're gonna have a big chest. You're just gonna pull elbows to your side, right back down. Exercise one, we're gonna, exercise two, we'll flip back around. We're gonna do a push up to an overhead reach or a roll out. So you do perform a push up. I'll talk through all of those, these as we do them. Then we're gonna roll our arms all the way overhead to an, an ab roll out, come right back down into your push up. That's exercise two. Exercise three, another combo movement. Palms are gonna stay facing one another. We're gonna do a clutch, which is gonna work your biceps. As you come back down, your palms still face one another, pinch your shoulder blades all the way into a Y. Come to full standing, right back down. Exercise four, we're flipping back around. We're gonna do a tricep extension. Your biceps line up with those ears. You just bend at the elbows, bring the weight hands behind your head, press straight, straight through. We're gonna flip back around. I like to flip back around. One way to the other, we're gonna do bicep curl, palms up, pull those hands to those ears, keep those elbows away from your body. Come right back down. Final one, exercise six. I call it, like to call the alligator move. Palms stay facing one another. We're gonna open all the way up. One hand down, one hand up. As you come down, you're like an alligator mouse chomping those hands together. Flip it, other way. Those are our six movements. Don't worry, you probably forgot a lot of them. I forgot them sometimes. I'm gonna talk you through all of them. We'll have them up in this screen, somewhere on the screen. <laughs> when he decides, he'll put them up there somewhere. I'll talk you through all of them, coach you through proper points, so don't worry, get ready. I'm gonna start my timer. We're gonna do a row, so I want you to make sure you're started facing the point, the secure point, okay? Palms are gonna be facing one another for this exercise. Let's start. Remember, it's only 40 seconds, good controlled movements. All right, palms up. Pull elbows to your side. Come right back down. You can have straight legs. If it's a little bit too easy, bend those legs, knees at 90, send those hips up. The goal with the TRX too is to make sure that you're like a moving plank. I know you can't see Brad too well, but you want a straight body line from your shoulders, especially to your hips. You don't want any extension in your back. You don't want any like hover arching or rounding forward. Okay, you want a straight body line. And nice. you're not bouncing. Nope. You control the movement down. Don't let gravity just pull you down to the ground. Try to keep a lot of tension out of your neck and then pull your elbows just to your side. Don't bend those wrists. I see a lot of people bending those wrists. All right, we're gonna flip around and we're gonna do a push up to an ab roll out. So you're in a straight body line again, like a plank position. Your elbows are gonna come at about an arrow from your body. Let those handles chomp at your neck and then reach all the way overhead as best you can. Come back down. Push-ups. If your push-ups are really scraping your arms or the TRX, it's probably because your elbows, I'll come this way so you can see, are too far out. Make sure they're down about at a 45 degree or like a arrow. Reach as far overhead as you can, roll it back in. If you wanna make it harder, go lower. Bring those feet right underneath that secure point. Ooh, that's really gonna work that, those abs in that roll out. Not bending at the waist, keeping that core nice and tight. Plank, Corey said in that plank kind of position, your body straight line. Yes, perfect. All right, let's flip it back around. We're gonna do our clutch to our fly. So your palms stay facing one another. Big chest, You're gonna, your elbows are gonna point out in the opposite direction. Let your body come right back down. Now we're gonna pinch through those shoulder blades, straight arms into a fly or a reverse fly or a T. So clutch it, pinch those shoulder blades. This should be a hard movement right here. Whew. I'll control that movement down. Clutch, use those biceps. Remember they come right, they come right to the center of your heart. Elbows stay slightly up. 
And then with that fly, make sure that I see a lot of people use those hips and then they just kind of sag back down. So we don't want to do that type of a thing. Okay, you want a straight body line. You're a moving plank always. All right, let's flip it back around. We're going to work those triceps. This is the exercise that I do with people. Biceps over by those ears first, hands behind the, your ears. That when I do with people the next day, they're like, oh man, who knew that those muscles should get so tired? So when you do this, make sure your butt's not out. Often I see people kind of just like rocking their butt. So you're a straight line. I come to my tiptoes most of the time. Let those hands come behind your head, press straight through. Your elbows are trying to point forward the whole time. Keep your shoulders out of your ears. Good, come on, you've got this. 13 seconds, and we're flipping back around. Focus on your triceps. Only go as deep as you feel comfortable. If it's too hard, make your feet, move your feet further up. Keep going, the goal is keep going during these rounds. Okay, flip back around. So your palms are gonna be up the whole time. Keep your elbows away from your body. We're not pulling in with our elbows to our body. We're pulling up with our hands to our ears. Control that movement down. If you wanna make it harder, move lower. It's really gonna challenge you. You're gonna have to pull more of your body weight. Keep those arms up. Corey said pull to those ears, or I always say pull to your forehead, either one. Yes, that works. Keeping those elbows up nice and high the whole time. Shoulders out of your ears. So you start to find, I challenged myself by moving my feet down a little bit, but then I started to get, my form was compromised and I felt myself almost like using momentum. So move your feet back then. Keep going. Good. All right, we're doing our alligators. So start with your palms together. Big chest, we're gonna pull one arm up as we pull one arm down and then we flip it over. Okay, so we're using our lats, we're using our rear delts. Control that movement down, flip it over. Think about your hands being a big alligator's mouth, chomp in together, flip it. Chomp it together, rotate and flip it. When you pull up into this position, make sure you're using your lat. You're pulling, engaging through that lat and then controllably closing. 15 seconds. All the way up, right back down. Rock and roll. Don't let your hips sag. Don't let your back extend. All right, so we've done everything once. Time to do it a second time. Let's do that row. So you've done it once. Now that you've done it once, you kind of know the pattern. Was it too easy during that 40 seconds? If it was, go lower. Put your feet closer to the secure point. And you can pick up the pace if you would like. But the goal is, if you are picking up the pace, not to do momentum. Like, that's You're not, not bouncing. Nope, nice and controlled. Did you see Brad? He's just controlling his whole body through the entire movement. We don't want to lose control at any point in time. After doing the TRX, you might feel your forearms and your hands really tired. If you're inexperienced with the TRX, you will at first have kind of a death grip on the TRX. Over time, the more you do your TRX workouts, that will go away. So that's very common when we have first time TRX users. They're, they have got that death grip on the TRX. So just a heads up on that. <laughs> Okay, so let's do those push-ups to those rollouts. Roll it out, reach those arms overhead. Yeah, eventually you won't grip so hard. You'll know just the right amount that you can use to hold your body, but without making your forearm dead. <laughs> People always tell me that first time we get on the TRX, they're like, oh my gosh, my forearms. And like, let's loosen your grip. Obviously, let's not fall. We wanna have yourself nice and secure, but Let's loosen up your grip just a little bit because you kind of tend to have the death grip that first time. Good, eight seconds, focus on those perfect push-ups. Notice you're not going all the way down. Your body's not sagging down in between, in between your TRX. You're controlling. All right, and let's flip back around. Let's do our clutch and our reverse fly. So palms are facing one another, straight body line. Pull your hands to the center of your chest, elbows out, control that movement down. Then do a fly. Whoop fly. Or a Y. I was just doing a Y. A y. <laughs> Both are great exercises. Have it. Pinch those shoulder blades down. Try not to get it into your neck. Good, nice straight, like you're a cross or a T. Good, 
pinch, 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 open. Try to keep those wrists nice and straight the whole time. We don't want to bend them or, ex or flex them. All right, flip back around. Let's do those awesome triceps. So start with your biceps up by those ears. That's gonna be a little challenging for my straight body line. Squeeze the booty so your hips are square to the ground. They're not, your butt's not extended out. Okay, we're not doing this. Nice and tight in the core. Your whole body is moving from toes to those elbows, almost a straight line. If you're not feeling it, if your elbows are flaring out nice and wide, keep those elbows in. Keep those elbows in, you will feel it more. You'll be working the proper muscles. Eight seconds. Keep your chest proud. And three, keep pushing, two, one. Ooh, flip it around, two more and you're done. 10 minutes goes fast. Palms up, remember your elbows stay away from your ears. I mean, of course your elbows, how, how would your elbows get all the way up to your ears? Oh. I don't even know. Your elbows stay away from your body, hands come to your ears or your forehead. A lot of people, big mistake, a lot of people pull down here and they're just kind of pulling to their chest. It's kind of what Corey was talking about. So definitely keep those elbows up. Elbows up. Control that movement down, especially slow it down. Slow, 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 slow. Whoo, you're gonna feel that burn. This one, you don't have to be leaning too far back for this one. This one's challenging right away, especially if you have proper form. All right, final one. Let's do those alligators. Chomp those hands together. Alternating, ready, and finish it up. All the way up, nice and controlled. This is a very controlled 10 minutes. We're not doing any crazy intensity, jumping around, focusing on good upper body movements, and then core control because you're not letting your lower body or your core get lazy. Control that movement down, control, control. The slower down you go, slow, 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 especially here, right here is when people wanna just kinda of collapse those hands. Slow, how slow can you bring those hands together? Ooh, open. Slow all the way down, shoulders out of your ears. Couple more. Or one more. Good, awesome. That was a great upper body, upper body TRX workout. Oh, that's my lovely final timer. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video if you did, leave comments so we can bring more of these workout TRX ones to you. We like to use this because everybody can, not everybody has one, but it's an easy exercise that you can do at home if you have, if you have the TRX. So check out our other videos, maybe a stretch one or a foam rolling one. Afterwards, I know your art provider might need some, some work because you might be tired from all that upper body work. So we look forward to seeing you next time.